Yes. All right, yes. I have to confess that I've made a mistake. Yes, I've stolen something. Not out of necessity, but out of greed. I was not starving and I was not dying. I just wanted it because I... I wanted it. But is that enough to imprison me like that? They think of evil as an absolute. Anything evil is pure evil. Am I evil just for stealing? Of course. It is a good thing when the evil is eliminated from a person. Evil. But what remains of the person is... different. We need to look closer. And personally, I don't know how to treat these people. They seem to behave normally. They walk, talk, but in some way they just seem... unreal.
battered and beaten, and it took its toll on us, but it was a new beginning. The judges showed us the path. As their heirs, it is our duty to rebuild this society. I will gladly accept the burden of becoming the new judge, a guardian of humanity. In the names of the judges, we will make this world whole again. Without the influence of us, we are life free from divine oppression. By this, we will honor those who die and the life of leaders from a deer. As much as I want to, I cannot see... They are like children. They think they freed themselves from the shackles of oppression. But they are nothing more than lost souls. Every single one of them. <laughs> Soon they will realize they are alone. That they are helpless. They will be lying in the streets, starving, wishing a deer was still here to take care of them. Was that the last of them? Yes. You didn't need to get involved. 
Looked to me like you needed my help. We'll secure the area. Caslow is upstairs with Antanas. They're expecting your report. I'm on my way. I can't believe he killed all those demons by himself. I've had my share of fears, but... This guy... really scares the crap out of me. Psst. There he is. How can he be so powerful? Is he taking part in, in those, you know... Exp Psst. There he is. Are you crazy? What if he hears you? There is one heresy that can never be forgiven, and that is defying your true God. This sin is eternal, and will haunt generations to come. These books are not just a myth, Ingvar. They exist. I've seen them myself. Last week, Antanas brought them to the monastery under cover of darkness, and would not allow any Antanas of us to awaits even you upstairs. touch them. These must be the scriptures we have spoken of so many times. The keys that unlock the pathway to other worlds. This is good. We will be safe now. How did it go? We won't be seeing any more lords. Excellent. The Rogar continue to attack. As long as they're not lords, we should be all right. Antanas is safe. Our job is done. I want to speak to him now. Not yet. There's more work to do. We will meet you in the planetarium downstairs. Why can't we speak now? Antanas will reveal his plan to you in the planetarium. He can only explain it to you there. We'll meet you downstairs when it's safe. Berinon is growing up so fast. I have heard him say his first words, and he has already begun to walk. He enjoys it. He's laughing with every step. It hurts to look into his eyes, for they are his mother's. Sometimes...
done, Harkin. Antanas is here, and he wants to speak to you. Harkin, Kaslo tells me you've been victorious against the Rogar Lords. It is a feat my own men have not managed. If your men were better at their duty, I wouldn't be here doing their job. You do not understand the true nature of our enemy. This war has been waged for far too long, at far too great a cost. My people are suffering. I cannot protect them as long as I'm trapped in this godforsaken place. The tide has turned in our favor. Battles have been won, but the war yet wages, Harkin. We should move you to a safer location. No, Harkin. Antanas is the one the Rogar seek. They will hunt him down no matter where he goes. But we have a plan. One that will bring the battle directly to our true enemy. You mean the Rogar? No, Harkin. I mean the God. You showed me little favor on the day you sentenced me to my prison cell. Yet here we stand, you demanding favor from me. That was a long time ago, Harkin. The crimes committed were yours, Harkin, as was the punishment you earned as a result. And now you need my help. Why should I bother? Why should I care? If Adir prevails, he will change the shape of this world. I do not turn a blind eye to your sins. Your violent nature fuels the flames of this battle. But in a world set ablaze by madness and despair, I will fight fire with fire. It's not every day I get to kill a god. Indeed. How am I supposed to do that? You must return to the Rogar realm. Once there, kill the remaining Rogar lords. Once they are gone, a deer will have no choice but to enter the fight himself. And when he does, you finish him. Why has a deer held back? He's a god. His lords have been his proxies in this war. Once you've destroyed them, a deer will have no choice but to step onto the battlefield. In that moment, run your blade through his foul heart and end his existence. I understand. Not all of the lords are in the temple, Harkin. Some of them might be staying closer to the god. You will need this to access the heart of the Rogar realm, the Chamber of Lies. Your gauntlet will be able to open the path inside the Chamber of Lies, if you allow me to prepare it. Luck in battle, Harkin. If we meet again, it will be to celebrate your victory. Harkin, before you go... Yes. There's something strange going on here. I don't know what exactly, but I intend to find out. Thank you for getting me out of that cell instead of that pathetic wimp. 